Amid escalating trade tensions between South Korea and Japan, one issue between the two, and that is gaining more spotlight by the day, is Japan's alleged plan to discharge nearly one million tons of radioactive wastewater into the ocean, as the nation will soon run out of space to safely store it on land. The Japanese government had explained to Seoul that no plan has been fixed yet, but some Japanese officials, including the environment minister, continue to make concerning statements that dumping the nuclear wastewater into the ocean is the best option Japan has left. South Korea has taken the issue to the global stage, asking the IAEA to take an active role in finding the truth about Japan's possible plan on Monday. Today, we go in depth about this alarming issue and possible solutions with climate and energy campaigner Chang Mari of Greenpeace Seoul. It's good to have you back. Uh, it's really great to be back with updated stories. So South Korea is voicing grave concerns over Japan's possible move, while Japan continues to say that no plan has been fixed yet and that they are carrying out careful examinations on the matter. How is Greenpeace observing the matter? I mean, the statement from the Japanese government made at the IEA um, general conference uh, this week is really inaccurate and uh, deliberately misleading in regards to the situation of Fukushima um, contaminated water. Um, the minister failed to explain to IAEA delegates of the fact that 80% of the treated water is still contains radioactivity. Uh, it's over the regulatory limits until now, including the tritium. So, um, the treated uh, technology, Alpus, had not really um, performed as originally planned or reported for the last, um, during the last past years. And it's also admitted by the TEPCO last year. And uh, the government did not review in a comprehensive way of option as uh, how they treating the water. Um, including, uh, you know, uh, um, getting the um, available, the best option technology for them. So Japan's claims made at the IAEA General Con uh, Conference contradicts even previous TEPCO statements, statements made by Tokyo Electric Power Corporation. Mm -hmm. Now, Seoul has, uh, as you've mentioned, taken the issue to the IAEA in efforts to seek international cooperation. Seoul has also asked IAEA to take a more active role mm -hmm. in the matter. What is the significance of the move? Uh, I mean, Korea, as being a spokesperson, um, raising this issue officially to the international society, it made a significant uh, meaning, actually. Um, also, Korea representative, they made strong points about how this is not just Japan's domestic issue, but it's a huge concern to the whole international society. And this underscores the, um, uh, the issue of UNCLOS, UN on the Convention of the Law of the Sea, uh, and IMO as well. Um, so which relates to the importance of considering this issue in terms of transboundary pollution, which requires the states to make action. They have to be um, share information exactly, and they have to be transparent, and they have to share such uh, environmental assessments results uh, about the potential risk to the other countries, such as the country uh, Korea, uh, which is the closest nation to Japan right now. Now, you've mentioned about this briefly uh, while answering my first question, but uh, Japan's science and technology minister uh, was there at the mm -hmm. IAEA General Conference to refute South Korea's claims. And calling Seoul's claims unscientific, he said after a water purifying process, most radioactive particles will be eliminated, except for an element called tritium, which you've just mentioned. What could you tell us more about this element called tritium? And how do you see his claims? Uh, actually, tritium possesses a radiation risk. That is scientific fact. And Japanese government is keep trying to deny that so that they will be able to discharge the water to the ocean. So it is the Japanese government that is misrepresenting the science of radiation risk. And radioactive tritium has the potential to become organically bound um, in plants. And I mean, this delivers 
um, a concentrated dose to cell structures in plants, animals, and human, increasing risk of health effects uh, such as cancer and the permanent damage to DNA. And uh, I mean, this kind of delusion does not help this country, Japan, to solve fundamental problem. Uh, the Japanese government generally dismisses risks from the uh, uh, low dose radiation exposure, uh, including in this case from tritium specifically, and any release of radioactivity um, has the potential to cause harm, and uh, therefore applying the principle of best available technology and the alternative uh, option as uh, long term storage uh, and processing this water uh, with advanced technology in the future, it will be the only option for the Japanese government. So tritium is a hazardous element that uh, has radioactive risks. Mm -hmm. And is there a safe way for Japan to, to eliminate this element called tritium right now? Of course. I mean, from the first stage, Japan government was acknowledged that there will be better or best uh, available technology, which will be uh, more effective in reducing uh, radioactivity and nuclear clouds such as tritium or strontium. But they did not make that decision at the first place because of the cost. So, I mean, the accident itself and their failure in, um, in, in treating this uh, contaminated water is just all about the cost saving for Japan government. So, um, to answer for your question, yes, there is another option than discharging this water to the ocean. So Japan has the technology, but they just, uh, according to some officials, they want to choose the most quickest, easiest, and most affordable True. way. So Japan has the technology, but it's way too expensive. Mm -hmm. uh, Japan continues to say that it's still reviewing ways to safely discharge the water and mm -hmm. that there is no official fixed plan on how to discharge the nuclear waste water. But some officials, as I've mentioned in my opening, mm. the environment, environment minister uh, in particular has told the press, has uh -huh. told the reporters that dumping the nuclear wastewater into the ocean is the best option. Why, how do you see the discrepancy between the Japanese government and some of these Japanese officials? Well, we assume that at the first place, Japan government made this plan to discharge contaminated water to the ocean because that was the cheapest and you know, affordable way for them. Um, and it actually reflected into their process and their decision making of how they treated Fukushima Daiichi um, accident also with the tritium water. I mean, contaminated water. So as the former environmental minister said, well, what he said is he said that he kept it as a personal opinion, but um, we assume that he want to test what will be the reaction from the international society or their own community people, how they're gonna react to it. And they, I think they made it very clear that even though uh, Korean community and Korean people and as the nation, um, we urge their um, effective um, problem solving attitudes, but regardless of how we urge them, they are very clear with uh, this plan that discharge water will be the best plan for them. If Japan forges ahead with its dangerous plan, it would affect South Korea as well as the other nations in the Pacific Rim. Can you tell us about the, the responses or the reactions from the countries in the Pacific Rim so far? Um, well, especially I mean, for the, at the IA general meeting, um, there wasn't any other uh, voices than Korea, but that is the reason why Korea should be um, in a stronger manner uh, as the spokesperson who are raising this issue to the internal society in the com future uh, coming um, um, you know, international uh, meetings and all, such as IMO meeting um, taking place in October. Uh, as Korea, we, I mean, how we present this issue to international society is really important because it causes such attention from the other side. Once this issue um, getting bigger in Korea in this summer, Italy, uh, it, uh, from Italy and France and the other countries uh, release this issue 
um, contaminated issue to their own public media, which means that what we are saying is really important for um, future matter. South Korea also plans to meet with the acting secretary general of the IAEA to uh, ask for international support. What kind of role do you expect the IAEA to play? Uh, it's important to, I mean, IAEA to consider how this contaminated water issue could bring um, uh, such disputes between Korea and Japan in terms of nuclear safety management. But unfortunately, IAEA cannot make any regulation, specific regulation for Japan. But um, with their acknowledgement, they will as in giving some suggestion to Japan, and they will keep focus on how it's you know how it's going to be treated in uh, from Japan government. That means a lot to I mean at this point, and. Um, just to adding some on the, uh, your question, which is that Korea should be mm, more proactive to deliver our message and demands to Japan government, not only for IAEA, but as I told you, um, for the future coming international um, grants meetings, such as UN, Human uh, Rights Council, and IMO meetings and all. So Korea should expand its scope mm -hmm. of uh, international cooperation. What efforts is Greenpeace making now, and what does it plan to do next, now that the issue has been taken to the global stage? Um, we are planning to go further issuing this water crisis to the international society because, as you mentioned and stated, still international attention has not really made as much as we expect. So we will do also, as a, a non-governmental um, organization, we will do our role in expanding our messages to outside of the world. And also, we will deliver the voice of affected community people, um, especially you know, who are having this suffering at the most, um, living in a Fukushima and opposing to this discharging water plan. And we're going to deliver our petition, and we're going to do the polling um, at the Japan and Korea as well. So we, we want to show uh, what is real, real um, voice and needs from the countries, both countries. And we will provide scientific and uh, sorry, scientifically accurate data from Fukushima on the site and some analysis of showing how um, you know, this contamination from Fukushima is really happening over there um, because there are not so, so many um, um, uh, environmental assessment has been done by Japan government. And we will be also with affected um, community uh, at the site, especially like today. There was a um, court case was closed in, in, uh, in Tokyo today. And that was the effort from thousands of Fukushima and Japan uh, civilians who are really um, attacking um, and addressing this issue to TEPCO. Uh, it was really difficult one, and the TEPCO formal executives, they were ruled as uh, not guilty today. So this is just beginning stage of their long roads, and we will be always be there with them um, to end this nuclear disaster. All right, hopefully Japan will handle the matter in a transparent way. Thank you, Ms. Chang, for your insights tonight. Thank you.